Hey guys, welcome to BP The Bible Perspective. Can you be a Christian and vote Democrat? Well, for that matter, can you be a Christian and vote any party? But let's get into it. So before I do, please like and share this video and subscribe to BP The Bible Perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, add it to the comment section below. All comments are welcome. You know, this symbol here represents both the main parties. The donkey, of course, represents the Democrat. The elephant represents the Republican. I don't know exactly why, but they do. I like this image because, think about it, they're really the same colors, flags. And as I often say, they're basically opposite side of the same evil corner. Um, but I was recently watching a YouTube video by a particular creator, and he was a Christian. He's a Christian apologist, obviously a conservative. And he, the, the, the video was about, can you cannot be a Christian and vote Democrat. Now, when I hear that, I thought, what a, kind of an absurd thing to state that he is now evaluating, grading, judging someone's Christianity based upon their um, political affiliation. Being a conservative should really? Now, in my head, of course, the ranch blared loudly. And then he made a statement about the election being stolen. And then I said, ah, okay, got it. So let's kind of back up but I, because I want to, I want to examine that thought. Can you be a Democrat? Can you vote? Well, you, can you be a Democrat or vote Democrat and be a Christian? His position is you cannot. So he has condemned an entire segment of Christianity. And said they're not Christians because they voted for Biden. Now, if you notice this picture here, Biden, Democrat, Trump, a Republican. So I would ask this person, can he be a Christian and vote for Trump? So the, the idea of Christians who have gotten themselves into um, polit uh, uh, political um, on the political arena on either side have erred greatly because now you have reduced God's message gospel to a political ideology that neither side keeps by the way God never ever said that you should vote any uh, political ideology now there are people who try to use Romans 13 but again that's not what it said the people who, again, themselves that, that push this, peddle this, to me, turn out to be nothing more than pharisaical politicians. Which, again, you pervert the gospel message. And that's the problem, that you pervert the gospel message. Some of the reasons why they say this guy would say you can't vote Democrat is because of the Democratic policy, meaning the liberal policies. And usually this, abortion and gay rights. Now, if you kind of go back to the 60s, there were a few more talking points to that. Like, for example, prayer in schools. Well, of course, over time, they had to um, drop that one. That's a lost cause. And so, you know, prayer in school is not that big of a deal now. In other words, it's a, it's a lost cause. They can't win it. But the two ones that they still kind of hold on to is gay rights and abortion. And since Democrats hold on to abortion, they are the Antichrist. They're evil. But here's my question then for those, and I'm going to say hypocrites. When you make a statement to say that a person who votes Democrat is not okay uh, a Christian that makes you a hypocrite but let's go on let's judge you let's, let's examine your hypocrisy 
So as a Republican, do you support then the Republicans' party? Now, let me just stop and say, let me be clear for one thing here. I'm not espousing either side. I'm examining the statement, the judgmental statement that says that if you are a Christian, you cannot vote Democrat. So then let's flip this. Then you can vote. It's okay to vote for this man. You mean you voted for that man? What was Christian about voting for Trump? Okay, but let's go on because Trump is now over with. He's not going to come back to office. But many Christians, by the way, who went to even march on January 6th, you know, that march that turned into an invasion of the Capitol, was that godly? That's what you were supporting? In other words, the, again, it's so crazy here. Like I say, in my head, <laughs> it's blaring with the, 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 the thoughts. Let me calm down here. But let me ask a, a couple of questions just on, just on the two major talking points that this brother would say, and many other conservative Christians would say, that you can't be a Christian if you vote Democratic. So the Republican Party, are they against abortion? How about gay rights? Are they, are they against gay rights? Well, here's the thing. The party is pretty much split. In other words, there, there are diehard Republicans that would certainly say that uh, you, you can't vote and you shouldn't vote for that. But others say, live and let live. Are you castigating those Republicans? How about Trump himself? You know, the God-fearing leader, right? Your God-image leader, right? Did he, what were his positions on gay rights and abortion? Uh, do you know the, the, the Republican Party, even though they're split on the issue individually, that their official position is that they support gay rights in, I mean, they support gay rights, I'm sorry, but they also support abortion rights in the case of rape and incest and the threat of the life of the mother. They support abortion. So you, conservative Christians, do you support abortion in the case of rape, incest, and the threat of the life of the mother? Do you support that? Okay, because if you do, that makes you a further hypocrite because now you're saying that some babies are okay to kill. But remember, you support a party, you vote with a party that supports it. And as one conservative Christian told me, well, you know, we got to choose the lesser of the evil. <clears throat> and he tried to rationalize by saying, well, if I could save a million versus 20,000. So the 20,000 babies are okay to kill. That makes you a hypocrite. And secondly, how is it then when you're a man who got into office, whom you say was the champion, God's champion, in the first two years of his office, remember, he walked into his administration with certain gifts that he squandered, by the way. Uh, Trump was a fool, and that's why he lost. We're not going to get into him, obviously. But here's the interesting thing. <clears throat> um, in his first two years, he had con both control of the Senate and the Congress. So why in the first two years did he not aggressively go forth for those godly so-called issues that, you know, that God was concerned about? Abortion and gay rights. <clears throat> you know, when you compare, <coughs> excuse me, when you compare how aggressively Republicans are going uh, after voter rights, why did they go after gay rights and abortion in, in Trump's first two years when they could have voted laws into place? Hmm. See, let me just say this. It's always a problem when Christians push ideologies, which it turns out to me, which it reveals that they're not about the kingdom of God, that they're not about building the kingdom of God but a white conservative evangelical America. And that's already failed. You all just haven't gotten the memo. Look, that is my perspective. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to BP, the Bible Perspective. And as always, if you have a thought or comment, add it to the comments section below. Till next time, I'll see you then.